We're here with the 2004 Jaguar XJ8 Vanden Plus. Vanden Plus or Vander Plus? Vanden Plus, I believe. V Vanden Plus edition. Uh, my buddy JR brought this by, and we're just kind of uh, taking a look at some of the problem codes. For multiple days at a time, it'll drive fine, and then we'll run into the issue of starting it, going somewhere, and it's shutting down, going to strict idle mode. I'll let it sit for a couple of days, then it'll start back up and drive fine, but when it's in idle mode, you can press the accelerator, won't go anywhere, it will only idle. Got you. So it's in that limp mode then. Uh, it, from what I read after you mentioned the limp mode, I think there's supposed to be an indicator that lights up to tell you it's in limp mode, but that doesn't happen. But still, the idling is as if it's in limp mode right at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Got gotcha. you. Okay. So what it looks like we've come up with on our research, we're going to pull the engine codes to verify this, but what we think is going on there is there is a sensor on the other side of this pedal that actually senses um, pedal movement. There's no actual wire connected to your intake. So uh, over time, those connections can get dirty and we're going to uh, clean them up and see if that erases the engine codes. The tools we're gonna need for this are gonna be a, uh, maybe some kind of little pry bar here. Uh, what we use that for, there is a, a mat underneath the dash that you have to take off and these little clips right here you, uh, you kind of have to pull that thing out like that before you can actually take off this mat. So a little pry bar there, uh, optionally a, uh, a scan tool for your OBD2 connector, a few uh, um, Q-tips there, a 10, mil 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench, Deoxit D5 contact cleaner, or your favorite version of, of uh, electronic contact cleaner. Phillips head, Phillips head screwdriver and a uh, maybe an exacto knife or some sort of a uh, razor blade. Okay, so among the litany of fault codes that this thing is throwing off, the ones of interest to us are P0122, P0222, and oh, that was it. I think I passed it there. Uh, P1344, that is uh, specifically related to this th uh, throttle position sensor. So uh, I think that's gonna give us a good idea that that's, that's what's wrong with this. So let's, uh, let's take that thing out and clean it. Okay, so after removing the panel, we have access to be able to see, here's our pedal, and this right up here is the sensor that we're trying to remove. We Okay, so you have three 10, 10 millimeter bolts here that you want to remove. One of them is right here. One of them is right here. And the other one is right around back here. I don't think you can see it from this shot, but you've got three and that's gonna let that entire assembly uh, come down. Okay, and this right here is the electrical connection that we need to remove from this sensor. You can see here that we have disconnected our harness. It was just a matter of pushing those two on both sides, pushing them, you know, toward each other like that. All right, now that we have, uh, we've pulled the pedal assembly down um, to get better access to this, we've got five screws here that we want to remove. One, two, three, four, five. And then that'll give us access to the sensor behind it. Okay, now that we have those screws off, we can very carefully Pull the cover off and examine what we have below there. I'm going to have to zoom in. Let's see here. And you can see they, uh, they, they still look pretty shiny. Uh, the contacts don't look that bad. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll pull this board out and we'll shoot a little bit of contact cleaner in there. And we may pull some of these teeth up here pull those back toward us to increase it, their contact with this board and uh, then we'll reassemble it. Okay, and now with our deoxit, we're going to lightly spray a uh, cotton ball there, maybe a shot there. And then I'm just gonna kinda delicately scrub those contacts. And then we'll uh, we'll let that dry. Uh, really, the can says just uh, you Overnight. know, you know, <laughs> two minutes is fine. So uh, 
you know, we'll, we'll do a shot on the uh, combs inside the car, maybe pull those forward a little bit, and then we'll put this thing back together. Okay, so we have reassembled the uh, pedal assembly. Everything is uh, back up there, uh, back reinstalled. The, the wire has been reconnected. We're going to clear the engine code and see if it reappears. All right, now we're going to crank it. And use the accelerator here. All right, there's no, uh, no engine codes coming up right now. And the, uh, the pedal is responsive. So uh, for now, I, I think we'll, uh, we'll call this a, a momentary success. So if, you, uh, if this video helped, please uh, push that like button, consider subscribing. We have other videos on the channel related to home auto repairs, maintenance, ATV stuff, RV stuff, a bunch of stuff. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot. Hope to see you down the road.